And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Detroit Tigers and the Toronto Blue Jays. First pitch coming your way next. Almost ready to get underway. Today's starting pitcher, Jose Barrios. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Boog. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late hey. in an at-bat. Parker Meadows leading things off and takes a strike. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. That's inside. Two strike. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. One up, one down. The second baseman, Spencer Torkelson. Now it's the second baseman, Spencer Torkelson. That's ball off the mark, one. and that's ball one. Aye. Called strike right there. Swings through one that ball. one. Oh, no, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Aye. Goes down looking. Third. Two outs, bases empty. Miguel and now up to hit, Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera. First pitch, and he just misses. And he deals. Swing and a miss. One and, one. and the count one and one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended. Tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That ball one misses. Two. Now two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Swings through that. <laughs> well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Tap back up the middle. Slings to first. That's the third out. End of a half inning of play. Now the Blue Jays will get their chance. No score. Back here at Rogers Center. And today on the hill, Eduardo Rodriguez. He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning and the second inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer. And the batter is George Springer. The right field. George Springer. Here comes a pitch. And he pumps it a strike. That one missed. I got one ball, one strike. The line and the pitch. Hard ground ball, base knock. Got 
back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Here's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal, taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. Over to first, and he saved. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Nobody out. Runner at first. That one down the line. Slings to second. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0. The pitch. Left field. Badu under this one. Makes the catch inning over. Scoreless after one. Back now in Toronto. Second inning set to go. Leading off, Kerry Carpenter. Kerry Carpenter. Barrios back to work. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Strike two. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the guy on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make guys earn it. Caught him looking for the K. Oh, that was a pretty poor at bat. He just never got the bat off of his shoulder. I mean, you got to go up there looking to swing at some point, especially once you're down 0-2. And at that point, make an adjustment, look to put the ball in play if it's anywhere close. And I'm just not sure what the plan was there. Matt Veerling up now for the Tigers. Pitch misses oh, inside. And that is ball one. And yeah, the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. And a count even at one. Second inning here, no score. Next one off the plate inside. And a count two and one. And that one is inside. Out to short, Bichette. Sends it to first, and that quickly two away. That is it. The first baseman, Andy Ibanez. And here's the first baseman, Andy Ibanez. That pitch gets the corner, strike one. Righty to the plate. Struck him out swinging. Had him way out front of the slur. Down in order go the Tigers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Now it's the shortstop. Bo Bichette. The shortstop. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That's in for a strike. Uh, 
now one. one and one. Here's a one one. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Batting good. Good. No left no field. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Biggio. For strike one. Strike on the inside corner. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Rudder at first with no outs here. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. The one-two. Popped up. And they get Biggio for the out. And there's one down. Tries to get back and see. Got it. The catch -cut. And now, Alejandro Kirk. First pitch, just misses. Bichette goes. And a foul ball. Bichette, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Step off throw to first. Oh, Bichette had dive back in. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll it to a double play. Got it by him for the K. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just Doesn't needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Kiermaier now. Step off, throw to first. Bichetta dive back in. Back over to first, and he's back again. He's going, Bichette he's going, goes. He's going. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Ah. Out there. And the inning is over. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Akil Badu. Barrios back to work. In there at the knees. There's a strike. Owen Chu now. Badu tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. And yes, he offered at it. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. The batter now, Javier Baez. And that clips the inside corner. Baez in his eighth season in the eighth spot in today's lineup. And he's a former National League Gold Glover. Next pitch is inside. And one and one. Good 
Good eye right there. Top of the third, no score. The next oh, offering misses. And now three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3 1 count. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging. And now two gone. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Next pitch off the play, and the count is one and one. And there's the strike. One ball, two strikes. Got him swinging. Had him way out front of the slur. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the Toronto designated hitter, Kevin Kiermeyer. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Next offering misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. I think baseball's starting to understand that those guys are valuable like they once were. They need them in this game today. Next pitch downstairs, and it's 3-0. Oh. In for a strike, now 3-1. Swing and a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Here's Matt Chapman. Snap throw to first, no, he's and he's back in safely. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, and one. Kiermeyer aboard here at first with nobody out. Out there to center. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And that's in there for strike one. Varsho measures 5 feet 10 inches, 26 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. And now it's even up. Rodriguez throw to first. No, Kiermaier back in. Another throw over. Hey. And he's back in that time as well. Ball to strike. The pitch. Okay. And misses inside. Okay. 
fly ball down the line no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's two down the right fielder number four Joel and it'll be George Springer to step to the plate one for one he let off the bottom of the first with a single in there and it's on one well, if he's going to steal second you want him to go early in the count that way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can dives but it kicks off his glove he decides to eat it and they can't get the out Everything came together for him. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So first and second with two outs. And now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. Off the mark there. Ball one. First and second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Check swing. Went around. One and two. And now the lefty swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve but that's okay as long as he's getting results and right there thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam welcome back John Chami with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth Parker Meadows Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And that's a strike. Well, these Tigers, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats. And I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They've gone down on strikes at a high rate today, so it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. And ball one. And a pop-up on the left side of the infield. Chapman puts the squeeze on that one. One away. Now back. Second base. Spencer. Spencer Torkelson. Up now for the Tigers. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Just missed. Count one and That one pushed foul. Righty delivers. And yeah, that's outside. That one fouled off two and two. The Tigers hitless so far in the game. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Three two now. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Kicks and fires. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. 
Man at first with one gone. Next is the designated hitter, Miguel Cabrera. And that's in for a strike. Pitch misses. One ball, one strike. That's to third. And that's a fair ball. Torkelson on his way to third. The throw in. And he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. He was away all over that one. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. So digging in, Kerry Carpenter. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. To first, maybe a two ball. Over to Bichette. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. So one hit is all they get to the bottom of inning number four now. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark, and the batter now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And here it comes. Up the middle. And Guerrero is set down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Bo Bichette up to the dish. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. Nope. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. On the ground, right side. The throw to first, and Bichette is retired. The left field, number eight, Kevin. Kevin Biggio getting ready to hit. Ball one, no strikes. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. That misses. And the count is two and two. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. And we're still knotted at zero. Back here at Rogers Center. And now it's going to be Matt Veerling. Matt Veerling. The wind of the pitch. And that misses oh, off the that. outside edge. Well, these Tigers being a little too patient at the plate in this game. They found themselves behind in the count quite a bit. They're trying to be. That one ripped left field. It bangs off the wall. Throws to second. And that's a leadoff double. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. And now the first baseman, Andy Abanez. First offering, and it just misses. Man at second. That misses. Ball two. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. A kill Badu in the on-deck circle. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. And the righty deals. 
And there's the automatic. Beerland stands at second with no outs. Downstairs and it misses ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And next up for the Tigers, Akil Badu struck out swinging his first time. That's in there. Strike one. He's looking for a strikeout or a ball on the ground for a double play to sort of calm this situation down. Next offering is foul back. No outs, runners at first and second. Hold strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. You got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Two on, one out. Now it's Javier Baez. His first at bat was a strikeout. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's 0-1. One out, runners at first and second. Popped up right side, two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And up next for Detroit, Jake Rogers. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And a foul ball. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Fights it off. You'll see another. That hits the dirt, and it's one and two. Swing and a miss struck him out. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. now in Toronto and here's the catcher Alejandro Kirk the pitch upstairs well these Jays need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings they're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority but it's just not happening for them so far zero extra base hits in the game so it's been tough for them to get anything going that's Next pitch three. misses, all three. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. And a four-pitch walk. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and a leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. In the box now, take strike one. Next one misses, and now it's even one and one. Left hand hitter waits. And a count one and two.
just misses with that one. It's a good take. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And here is Matt Chapman. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Pitch misses there. One and oh. Kirk leads off first with one away. The pitch. Run around the goal. Swing and a miss. Bro, and they got him. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put one on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. And now the count is even. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Two down, nobody on. And there's a ball. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Who do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Varsho takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Blue Jays held in check. Still no score. Welcome back. And now the center fielder, Parker Meadows. Parker Meadows. Parker Meadows. The wind of the pitch. And there's the strike. And he lays down a bunt. And foul ball. And a pitch. Got him. One out. Now that Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. And a good Whoa. eye there. Hey. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Come on, Jay, let's go. Hey. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Got him looking, and there's two away. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total, and 
you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Cabrera in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that one hops the wall. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Throw is offline, and he's got a double. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And next to hit for Detroit, Kerry Carpenter. That pitch in for a strike. Going one. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. Ball one. Two outs and one in scoring position. The one one is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and that is that. So a two out double, but they don't score. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. And we still have no score. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, George Springer. Springer. Rodriguez back to work. That's a strike. It's 0 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swings and misses. No balls, two strikes. Springer swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that's the first out. Well, that event seemed to be no over matter. as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And here is Santiago Espinal. That one's in there. Strike one. Espinal in his third season, 28 years old. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. And the pitch. Ball. I got a ball, one strike. The why to kick the pitch. This one popped up. And it stays fair. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. In there for strike one. Espinal leads off first with one away. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. That's a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times. So I'd say that's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. It's softly on the ground to third. Beerlin tosses to first, and Guerrero is set down. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, yeah, make yeah. the pitch, get the That's ground cool. ball. Excellent oh. piece of work. Bobachet gets a chance to hit. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. He gets the intentional walk here and now a force at any base with two gone. 
Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. You try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. That one finds the corner, and that's strike one. And that's too high. Just missed. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. The count two and one. In the air right side. Carpenter on the run towards the line. A dive and he can't haul it in. One runs in. A second scores as well, and they take a two-run lead. And he's got a two-run triple. Well, he had the opportunity to drive in some runs, and he comes through to break the tie. Kind of your classic jam shot blooper right there. Made a good pitch on the inside, gotten to hit it off the handle, but he still muscled it out there. You just have to tip your cap on the mound. So a runner at third, two men out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk. There's a strike. Two outs with a runner at third. Come on, big opportunity, guys. And that one fouled off. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Inning over. Back here at the ballpark, here's the third baseman, Matt Veerling. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And he deals. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Up next is the tie fight. The first baseman. Andy Abanez digs in now. Yeah, that one's in there, 0 and 1. Toronto's bullpen with some action. Eric Swanson preparing to come on if needed. Green warming up as well. Right hander kicks deals. Base hit. Around first, digging for two. And that's a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Now the left fielder, Akil Badu. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts? First offering misses the mark. All one, no strike. Devonyes, the runner at second with one away. And here's a slow roller. Chapman fires across the diamond, and they got him. Javier Baez up now for the Tigers. And first offering is fouled off. The tying run at the plate. 
in the air fairly deep to right field and George makes the grab Baez gone on the play and that ends the inning no runs one hit a double no errors and one man left seventh inning stretch time Blue Jays two and the Tigers nothing a new arm into the game the righty number 62 he has a great slider with tons of movement now pitching for the Tigers number 62 Trey Winginger. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Leading off for the Jays. The designated hitter. Kevin Kiermeyer. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Action in the pen down there. Jose Cisnero getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Hanafi getting loose as well. Kicks and deals. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. One and two here. And a ball evens the count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that one hammered Carpenter. Going back, back some more. Stretches out and hauls it in. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little yeah, bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. There's a swing and a miss. All ones the count. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. And the right hander deals. That's the ball. One ball, two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. One and two now. And that one in the air center field. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. The center fielder, number 25. Two outs, base is empty. So up next for Toronto, Dalton Varsho. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Good eye right there. That's in there, and that is strike two. Two strikes. The one two misses to even the count. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Three up, three down for him there. We look ahead to inning number eight. Blue Jays two and the Tigers nothing. Back here at Rogers Center, we go to the eighth. Here's the catcher, Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers. Here comes a pitch. And takes low for ball one. He was late there, strike one.
That misses. Two balls and a strike. Just off the outside part of the plate. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Righty to the plate. That Eight. clips the corner. You can't lose, Paul. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Ball that misses the zone, and it's one and one. And oh. another ball. Two one. The two one. Hey. And that's in for a strike. Wine in the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Torkelson stands in here, takes ball one low. pitch that one the other way and makes the play and that's out number three Tigers fail to make any noise they trail it here to nothing out of the bottom of the eighth Leading and now the right fielder George Springer the right fielder George Bring her. And the pitch. Gets the call. And it's 0 and 1. Ball one there. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. That to right. Carpenter gliding to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Now back. The second baseman. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's that one ball. missed. Look out! And it hit him. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. next up for the Blue Jays. Ouch, that one drilled him. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. 
So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. One down. Bo Bichette next up for the Blue Jays. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. And that one fouled off. Espinal at second. Guerrero over at first, so going away. Check swing. Now to look down to first. And he went, says Larry Buller. So first and second with two outs. Here's the left fielder, Kevin Biggio. to the zone for a strike going one two outs a couple of base runners at first and second swings and lines a base hit into left field throw in holds the lead runner at third so it'll be bases loaded and two gone a couple of hits in a row for him here textbook back control right there got a pitch on the outside saw it deep into the zone and just barreled it up went the other way for the knock now the base is loaded big opportunity for them to break this game open Fouls one off out of play back to our left. Kind of goes without saying, but straight on these two runners in scoring position right here, it feels like it's a must if they stand a chance to win this game. And the righty deals. Way out front for strike two. Slider misses outside. Right-handed reliever. Two outs. Bases are full. Popped up first base side. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the third out. Looks like he's heading back out for the night as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the DH, Miguel Cabrera. He's been so sharp today, even over 100 pitches thrown. His skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. And that's through there for a strike. 0-1. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And here it comes. Cabrera started after it. Tried to hold up. Now a look to first. And he went around. That's ruled the swing. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusted his stuff in this one, Bird. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And... That really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Varsho moving under it. Puts the squeeze on it. Two away down. Now the third baseman, Matt Veerling. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit.
Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here comes the manager out of the Blue Jays' dugout, and he will make a move to the pen. That's all for Jose Barrios, and he was excellent. Really controlled this game on the mound. And we'll have a new arm for you in a minute. Jordan Romano gets the call from the pen. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. So up next, Andy Abanez. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Thierland, the runner at first with two gone. Good eye right there. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And a 2-1 on the way. The two on is high. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. Three one now. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. That's hard hit in the line. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Blue Jays use two pitchers to combine for the shutout. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.